Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Koga here and in this video I want to talk about how you should be firm on being flexible and I ain't talking about yoga here, okay? Now, why did I decide to make this video on this particular day is because of this. Hold on a second here, okay? Check it out! Wall Street Journal, SpaceX, Behemoth blasts off and the second booster returns, all right? So if you're not aware, uh, SpaceX founder is a gentleman named of Elon Musk, who is the creator of uh, Tesla as well. And he's basically changing the world uh, when it comes to space travel, right? Now, why did I talk about firm on being flexible is there's an idea called functional fixedness, all right? And what functional fixedness means is about our ideology that we have of something and how it limits our ability to solve a problem. Okay, so what do I mean by that, right? So in, in terms of space travel, right? Because this is pretty, you know, this is crazy stuff, okay? In terms of space travel, the idea and solution to explore the world, okay? And explore the galaxy was to what? Simply make faster rockets, right? And bigger rockets that blast off more, okay? So I take this little spaceship or whatever, and then you put a gi ginormous rocket on it, and then you go and you fly off. And then the idea that NASA had and everyone else around the world, even like when Russia's competing, was the idea of make bigger rockets, right? Bigger rockets. Not realizing the solution, because the cost of the rockets are so expensive, the solution is to reuse the rocket booster. Okay, and that's why this is like pretty damn big thing when it comes to SpaceX, right? And that's where Elon Musk is a genius because of the functional fixedness, right? That idea of concrete saying this is the only way to fix a problem. He said, no, we can do this something else and we can reuse the rockets so you can fly up, the rocket takes off, and then the little booster lands, as you can see in the picture here, and then you can reuse the booster so it can keep on going back and forth, right? That's the idea. Okay, now how does this uh, idea of functional fixedness or what I like to call extreme ideology, right, kind of ties into uh, what I've been talking about is in the business section about like the stocks market, right? Well, if the only thing that you know about the stock market or matter of fact, let's even go broader and say the only thing that you are aware of is about making money is simply trading time for dollar, meaning that you wake up in the morning, you go to the office, and then you work for someone, and then someone gives you a paycheck, right? You're exchanging time for dollars, right? And if you do that, that way of solving a problem, meaning like if you want to make more, right? Because you want to have more nice things that, you know, what things can buy or time that you can use money for and stuff like that, that idea of functional fixedness of trading time for dollars, right, where you come in, that nine to five stuff, okay, that you're trading time for dollars, you're going to be trapped. You're not going to be able to find other solutions on being able to get that versus thinking beyond what we're trained and taught, just like Elon Musk, right? What people thought about space travel is simply get bigger rockets and uh, get, you know, so they can fly further and further farther versus say, ah, you know what, let's reuse some of the stuff. And if you start thinking about that in terms of everything that we do, we're going to be able to solve more problems, I think, in this world. And that's kind of my message today uh, for everyone that's watching, right? Because we had not only a historical thing about this, but we also had yesterday a historical this week, actually, about the stock market tanking in this month of February. And it's been rebounding, right? And if we just simply play the stock market in one direction, it's going to it's going to really hurt you, okay? Now, final thing, okay, because I had this uh, functional fixedness of saying, ah, you know, I don't want to do this, which is that little, you know, digital thingamajiggy where people are like, this is the digital money, mo money thingy, okay? I won't say what it is, but I think you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the letter B, it goes with the little I, and it goes with the T, and then it goes with the C, and then the O, I, N, right? That's what it is, right? And I was just like, no, 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 I won't do it. I won't touch it. I won't do this, okay? Now, after thinking about it, after wondering about it and paying attention to it, I finally officially jumped in uh, today. Now, why did I do that is because um, I see an opportunity to be able to possibly swing trade this and get a nice return, okay? Versus allowing my ideology of saying, ah, you know what, this little gimmicky thing, I'm not gonna participate in. Versus saying, what if, if I were to participate, what is my risk and reward? 
right? So I hopped in with the you know calculating mathematical calculation, okay? Right here you can see kind of on the screen here, just say, ah, you know what? I might be able to do kind of uh, a risk ratio of like three to one or something like that, and which is pretty damn good in my opinion, right? I'm risking, yes. Can I lose money? Yes, but it's a calculated risk. And that's what I tell individuals to do is to stop thinking and saying this is the only way to do something. Ask different questions. And when you ask different questions, then you'll be able to get a better answer or better yet, you're going to ask even more questions to get to another answer that might be a better answer than their original question that you asked yourself. So that's my message for you guys today. Hopefully you stay out there, you know, and uh, stay firm on being flexible with the ability to be able to solve problems because remember, your income is directly proportionate to the size of the problem you solve in the marketplace and it all starts with asking better questions. All right, so this is Jeff Cook. I'm signing off. Love you guys. Take care and bye-bye.